Her job is to advocate for the privacy rights of Canadians. And tonight, Canada's outgoing privacy commissioner says she's increasingly concerned about who can access our information and why. Jennifer Stoddart made a name for herself, taking on corporations like Facebook and Google. As she gets set to hand over the reins to a new privacy czar, she tells our Shirley Engel that complaints about confidentiality have reached an all-time high. This is a complex bill. In her first public comments about the Tories' cyber-bullying bill, the Privacy Commissioner raises red flags. There are stronger investigative powers. Uh, we should be concerned about them. However, um, all the powers um, for intrusion that we've seen on personal information have to be judicially authorized. So that's a big step up from C-30. C-30 was the government's failed attempt at an online big brother. Jennifer Stoddard does like the cyberbullying elements of the bill announced last week, but... We're concerned about some of the thresholds for, for gaining access to personal information. Her office will have to sift through it without her. After a decade on the job, Stoddard's term ends this week. We sat down with the commissioner, who gained international acclaim for locking horns with online titans, Facebook and Google. I think that those particular internet giants in their first forays into Canada were perhaps rather careless, if I can say. Federal departments ended up in her crosshairs too. For the second year in a row, reports of data breaches and complaints about sloppy handling of Canadians' personal information reached an all-time high. There has to be more training, more emphasis to civil servants about this is totally unacceptable, for example, to look into files that aren't assigned to you. She worries about the unprecedented power big companies are gaining over Canadians by collecting so much data about us. We have to change the law so that there's some incentive to try and keep within the parameters of Canada's privacy law. Despite her constant pushing, no government has been willing to take that on. No successor has been named yet. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.